right, so this system right here is responsible for all things finances within my business. This system will track your bank accounts, your credit cards. It can also track the transfers you do from one account to the other. And of course, it also manages your income and expenses. So let's say that I received a new payment from a brand deal. If I go to my brand deals dashboard here and I select this Elgato X Sequences brand deal and I go all the way to the bottom, you'll notice that there are two payment records because this is a split payment according to the contract. Therefore, it's going to automatically create two invoices and you will see these two invoices over here on my income section and you know it's been paid because it has a checkbox and the other one has not been paid which is the same one that's right here these are automatically generated by the brand deals dashboard if you don't have the brand deals dashboard and you want to manage your brand deals you can also uh, find the link to that video in the description so you can see for yourself how it works however in this video particularly i want to go over the payment section so that you can see how i manage my finances within my business. Quick preface, this is not financial advice by any means. I am just showing you how I manage my finances. This is just a tool that you can use to, well, better manage your finances if you're someone that struggles to keep yourself accountable. So uh, this system will help you with that. Anyway, so once I send the invoice, let's go down to the bottom here. You'll see that there's a button here that says send invoice. I already went through this in the brand deals video, but once I send the invoice, it's going to change the status of the payment record right here. And you will also see it reflected over on the payments dashboard. And you'll see that there is a line that represents a pending status. And if you haven't noticed by now, these income records behave like invoices. If you open this as a full page. Now, a lot of these features won't work if you don't have the brand deal system because it is an ecosystem. However, that does not mean you cannot use the payments dashboard if you don't have the brand deal system or whatever other system I created that uses the payments dashboard as an extension of the core system. So um, you can use this on your own. And the way you do that is simply by just going over to these new page buttons right here, and then you can add a new income record. So let's say that you received a payment from your brand deal and you're manually tracking that, you can also do it like this. So you can add the new thing right here. So you'll do payment from business, whatever business it is that uh, paid you uh, whatever amount of money to advertise your product. Let's say that they paid you $5,000 and I'll select my brand deals category right here. And then I'll select the bank account where the money will be directly deposited. In my case, it's the operating and utilities account and the frequency. This is a one-time payment and it was paid today. And now if you look closely over here on your bank accounts, you'll notice that the account balance just went up from $6,370 to $11,370. So the bank accounts will only display the amount of money you've been paid if the status was set to paid. So if it hasn't been paid or was partially refunded because this system also tracks your Shopify sales. So if you receive a payment from Shopify, then you will also be able to track that um, right here. Payment from Shopify. And then let's say that you made a total of $12,354. And then on the category, you'll select online store. Same thing, operating and utilities, one time, and this was paid today. And then now you will see that the online store will be updated as well with the new uh, data. It will show you how much money you've made this week, this month, this year, and over the course of the entire time you've been using this dashboard to track your income and expenses. Now, the same is true with your expenses here. Your expenses, however, they act a little bit differently because they contain credit cards. So essentially on the credit card statements here, you'll see that I've got three credit cards right here. This system tracks the utilization rate of each of your credit cards. So if you set a limit, in this case, the Chase Business Inc. card has a $6,000 credit limit. If you have, let me add a third expense. So expense number three, $2,500. And this one, I'm going to do payroll. I'm going to do operating and utilities. This is the account from where the money is going to be withdrawn from. And the card that I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose a Chase Business Inc., and the date I'm going to select, let's say that this was on Wednesday, so three days ago, two days ago, ish, give or take. Now you'll see that on the Chase Business Inc. card, you have a 51% utilization rate. So the system actually tracks your utilization rate. And this is so important. One of the most important things that I found for credit cards is you need to track this manually. I don't care how many automation systems exist in the world, but tracking expenses manually is the single best thing I've ever done for my business because it 
it lets me know what is currently going on within the business. I found that if I take one day out of the entire week to simply just log my expenses and see how I'm spending money and how my money's moving, that alone will make you more money because you by default are going to be so conscious of the amount of money you're spending that you're not going to want to continue spending more money because you see all these expenses skyrocketing. And then on top of that, you will see what categories you've been spending the most amount of money on a weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. That is one of the most powerful things you can do for your business because if you don't track, you don't care period. And if you don't care where you're spending your money, I hope your money grows on trees because money literally evaporates before your eyes. The last thing you want to do is overspend without realizing that you don't have a, but have you ever gone to, let's say you went to a mall or something like that. And then you spent a couple of things here and there. And then suddenly you thought you had a certain amount of money in your bank account. And then that number dipped by a lot. That happens when you don't track and you, you're not aware of the little expenses that you take here and there without tracking them. The single best habit that I've ever partaken on has definitely been tracking my expenses. It makes me so self-aware when I'm not even looking at my bank account because I already went through this process and I know how much money I've spent this week or this month, however long it's been. I usually look at the weekly and monthly numbers more than the year and the lifetime because I can't really do much with the yearly one and the lifetime one, but the weekly one and the monthly one, I would argue I would even add another one to, to track the daily one, but it's usually almost always zero. I didn't add it just because I didn't want to overload this with a lot of stuff. But so going back here to the credit cards, you might be asking, okay, well then now my utilization rate is up. How do I bring it back down if I already made the payment because real credit card apps, the utilization rate or the amount you owe goes down. So with this system, the only thing you need to do is simply just mark them as paid. So market is paid. Now it's back down to 42% expense two. this one's on the Amex gold card. So this one only has a 3% utilization rate. Check that. Now it's at zero. The payroll expense if you check this now, it'll bring back down the statement balance to zero. And then now the utilization rate is also back down to zero. $21,224 is the amount of profit I have left over on my operating and utilities account. Now, I do want to set aside a budget for my other accounts. I want to save money for investments. I want to definitely save money for taxes and accounting, for savings and marketing. I want to move money from this account to these other accounts. So once I do that on my app, I will manually track it here. Now that I know that $21,224 is my leftover balance, what I'll do is I'll go over to the transfers here and I'll select an amount. So I'm going to initiate four transfers and then all of these, I'm going to move them from my operating and utilities account. And then I'm going to select the date, which is today and select all of them. Usually when you work with an accountant, they usually advise to take a 30% of your income and set it aside for taxes because you never know how much money you're going to end up paying anyway. So a 30% of $21,224, that is $6,367.20. And I'm going to select the taxes and accounting bank account. And now you'll see that the balance has now been updated on the operating and utilities account and the taxes account. Up next is my savings and emergencies account. So for this one, they usually recommend a 10%. So I'm going to go with that $1,485 and 68 cents. I'm going to choose my savings and emergencies account. The next account I'm going to use is my marketing account. This one I am going to do a 30%. So that would be $4,011 and 34 cents. And then for my last account, that's going to be my investments. So out of the $9,359.78 that I have left over on my operatings and utilities account, I'll do $935.98. And now all my bank accounts are organized and full. They have their own budgets set aside. Now I'm going to go to the invoice record that I just sent at the beginning of the video, and I'm going to charge the customer. This is a test account, by the way. So if I charge the customer, and I go back, you'll notice that the invoice was now automatically set to paid. And then that is going to add it to the operating and utilities account. And that is pretty much how I manage my finances within my business. So if you want to use this system, I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. So you can go ahead and check it out for yourself.